Hello everyone. I just um today I want to say everybody happy Father's Day, happy Juneteenth. Um today I decided that I was going to um start basically tell my side of what's going on with a lot of things that y'all seen going on on social media. Um I have been told by multiple people that maybe just ignore, you know, what was going on. Um don't talk out on it, don't say anything and I myself just being the person that I am, you know, it was really kind of bothering me, like, not to respond, not to say, like, anything in reference to it. So, I will go ahead and start out by saying that and tell everybody from the very beginning what happened and why this happened. So, I myself, as you know, like, when I was 20, I started out rapping and every everything that I got, everything as far as, like, the rapping um, with ESG um, and then with Zero. Those are all things that I was able to obtain and do on my own as far as just people word of mouth, like telling them like, hey, there's this little chick, you know, she can rap or either me just pulling up going rapping somewhere and basically trying to like prove myself as a youngster and trying to, you know, keep up with the males that were in the business or whatever. So when I see like another person, especially if it's a young person that is trying to do the exact same thing that I did when I started out that age, even females now, anybody, like males as well, I try to like basically help them to where they're not having to go through the same things that I'm going through. They're not having to um, prove themselves and maybe, you know what I'm saying? I really felt like back then we had like more hardship now. We didn't have like social media and the internet to help us now. So basically, um, I saw like somebody I seen that I thought had a lot of potential, you know, it reminded me of myself when I was that age. So I reached out to them. I had a song getting ready to come out, which was big old facts and reached out to them was like, Hey, you know, I want to go ahead and put you on this song that I'm doing. Um, went ahead and put them on my song and started like, you know, taking them under my wing basically. And, you know, just really like helping this person, like, putting a lot of love and care into me trying to help this person, just genuinely help, trying to help someone. So I then ended up taking this person with me to Houston, Texas for a show that I had for Big Cuz and for other record label people, Meg Thee Stallion's label, different people, and just literally brought that person along with me. I could have been selfish and could have did that show by myself, but I'm just like, hey, I'm just trying to help them. So when we ended up going to that show, um, I drove three and a half hours to get to that show. Um, once we got there or whatever, um, I went ahead, we had to get dressed. Me driving there, I had to get dressed like in the restaurant there, just to be honest. We had to get ready in the restroom. Um, when they called us to come up to the stage and finally do like our performance that we were doing that night, I my phone was dead. So I put my phone out in the car and because just like hey it's an industry thing so it's like when they call your name you got to go up to the stage like you got 30 seconds to get to the stage what he told me so they they were calling like our name or whatever me and the girl that i took there and i told her i'm going out to my car to go and get the phone so that way i could send the dj the song that we were doing and i just told her when they call our name go up to the stage lo and behold they start calling our name I ran into the club to find out like why they're still calling our name when this other person is still off in there. They were by the door. I asked them what were they doing. They said they were charging their phone as well. So then Big Cuz proceeds to say that he's skipping us because we're not coming to the stage. So I become infuriated because I'm like, hey, we came down here to do this show. I know both of us as far as our talent that we finna kill everything. You know what I'm saying? And and I still stand behind that. We get up there. And I'm just like, y'all are going to let us perform. Y'all not going to skip us. So we're standing there. And then a lady comes and she whispers something to the girl. And I asked the girl, like, hey, like, what did the lady just say to you? And the girl tells me, oh, she just said they're getting ready to call us up there next. Right. So I, I'm i just like, hey, it's my show and my song. So they need to be talking to me, basically, is what I said. I said it just like that. So then, like, right after because them proceed to call us up to the stage again hey mr mina and so and so it's y'all turn to come and perform and the lady comes up to me and she says like hey where is the other girl and so i'm looking around like this and she's nowhere to be found so i in turn leave out the club she's outside like taking off her her shoes she's outside like undressing basically 
And I'm like, what are you doing? We got to perform the song. So she's basically telling me, like, she doesn't give a damn, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, I don't care, like, what you do, what you wear. She tells me, hey, I'm just going to throw on these little shoes, whatever, tennis shoes that she's going to wear. And I was like, I don't care what you're going to wear. Just, like, let's go. Let's perform. Let's rock it. Fast forward, we get up there, we kill the show. Everybody coming up to us, they like, hey, they taking pictures. I'm like, look, celebrities go through this all the time. You like Destiny Shaw, I'm sure different people went through this. So let's just save face, let's smile for the camera and like get what we came for, the publicity, right? So we, we lo and behold, do all that. So right afterwards, like I'm not going to drive back to Austin. Anytime I go back to Houston or go to Houston, I don't drive right back to Austin. I go to sleep where I'm at, you know what I'm saying, in my people's house which is my best friend's place, right? So the place that we were going to go stay at is a senior residential living center. There's like no dudes there. There's no like gangsters, no no nothing there. This is a senior residential living center where people are dying every day and their family members are taking care of them. So my best friend, um, he's there taking care of his father, right? So the whole time, you know, like I'm telling her, like I'm we going over there and I'm telling her at the time, like I'm calling it Swisher's house, right? And I'm just saying it like that because of the label that the person was under, like not telling her whose place we were going to. So she's like, no, 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 we're not going to Swisher's house thinking it's a person named Swisher. We're not going over there. You going to drive me back to Austin? It's 2 o'clock in the morning. So I go over there anyway. It's because I'm like, I'm not going to do that. I've never done that before. I'm not going to risk me getting hit, doing anything else, getting in a wreck and dying. So I'm telling her like the whole time we're there, get out the car. Let's go up here, go to sleep, and then we'll get you like get you back to Austin, right? It's 30 degrees outside. So I'm just like, I leave her in my car. She proceeds to call and call and call and call. So I end up having to just get up and say, hey, I don't want to deal with it. I'm going to just take her back to Austin, right? Outside, when I get out there, she yelling and screaming. She don't care what old people over here, this, 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 and that. Kick my car, hit my dashboard. Um, I told it to her mother when she had on the phone, like, I'm not going to allow her to continue to be hitting on my car, doing whatever that she's doing. Like, I'll call HPD, which anybody in their right mind is going to call HPD on somebody that's acting like this. So anyways, on our way back to Austin, she's just like, she want me to take her off the song. I say, okay, I'm going to take you off the song. We had an agreement. I said, I'll do all the social media back and forth because I've never done that my whole two decades of being an artist. So that was our agreement. I'll take you off the song, do that or whatever. So we get back to Austin. And then like a week later, I'm like feeling bad because of the altercation that we had. And she's like, we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about it. And I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go over to y'all's house. And we're going to talk about it like they told me to come and do. It's just like on the way over there, they ended up contacting me and telling me once I get over to their house, don't knock on the door. Don't do anything. Just walk in. Me being myself as a friendly person I am, I'm going to go over there because I'm not knowing, like, I don't think about anything like that or think anybody's going to try to do anything. I'm just thinking that I'm this same, This these are my people, so we finna try to work this stuff out. But then I'm on the phone with a friend that's in Houston, like, that just don't sound right. You don't go over to somebody else. You don't just walk in. I walk, I knock and ring the doorbell when I go to my own mama's house. So I'm not going to just walk into your house without me knocking first. So they were hell bent on telling me, no, no, no. When you get here, do not um, knock. We're waiting on you. Just come right in. So my friend told me, um, that does not sound right. You probably need to turn back around and you probably need to go home because that don't even sound right. Like, who does that? So they call me again. They're like, where are you at? And I'm like, well, y'all want me to just come over there and not do anything but just walk in don't knock or nothing i'm not gonna do that so we could talk about this on the phone and we're really trying to squash this let's just talk about it on the phone we could do a zoom meeting but i myself am not finna just walk to your residence walk in your residence and not knock they don't sound right so i did in turn called 311 and i literally i honestly asked the the, the lady on the phone that answered i said hey these people want me to do this. They want me to just walk in their house. And the lady told me on the phone, she was like, ma'am, it sounds like if you did that, it was not going to end well for you. So I'm glad you didn't do that. We have what we call in Texas is the Texas Castle Doctrine Law is what the lady told me. Where in Texas, if you go into somebody's house, whether you're beefing with this person or you're not, if you walk into their home, they have every right to stab you, kill you, and shoot you. Basically, try Selena you, basically. And there's nothing that they're going to do about it because you just went to this person's home and they have, every, look the law up. They have every right to protect anything. And they can just say anything. So 
I decided I wasn't going to do it that way. I still, even to this day, have still been like, hey, I will sit down with you. I will talk with you. We can get it rectified. I done took the person off the song, did what I was supposed to do. Now the thing is, if I didn't come to their house and walk in without knocking, they would continue to try to stand on me on the internet. So, uh, fast forward to now, um, the stuff that y'all seen on the internet, I try to just keep continuing being successful, keep doing my music. I went ahead and re-recorded the song, put big old facts out. Um, what I did is I had one of the, the engineers where we originally recorded the song to just give me all of my tracks to the song and take her off the song as we agreed to do. Um, accidentally, he says he put her tracks, like her ad lib on my flash drive that he gave me. So when I took it to the other producer, um, at the other studio at Pleasantville, he didn't know he's mixing and mastering a song. He's assuming everything is just me on there. So I'm in and out the studio, not paying attention to what he was doing. So he gives me the song on the flash drive. I go home. I get on the internet. He sent it to me on email so I can upload it to Distro Kid. I uploaded the song to Distro Kid at like six o'clock in the morning. Um, they put it on there. Later on during the day, I started getting messages like from the female telling me like, hey, you guys have to be taking off the song. You say you're going to take me off. I still hear me on the ad lib. So then I go listen to the song and you can hear her like on the hood. Hey, hey, yo, yo, hey, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, I contacted the guy and I'm like, why did you put the ad lib on there? He like, he did it on accident. The other guy told him, take that off because she's still on my song. He told me because this person does not have any type of anything in the industry. Like, why am I so worried about it? Stop, you know what I'm saying? Letting petty things upset me. Just go ahead. The song is fine how it is. I didn't even want to hear the song anymore with these ad libs on there. He wouldn't take them out. So about like three weeks went by, almost a month with him not wanting to take the ad lib off. The only other thing I could do is go take it to another studio where they would take it off. But then I'm going to have to pay more money to have to do it. So, long and behold, he see how it's affecting me. One day he sends it to me without the ad lib on there. So, now I'm free from all that. I upload my song. I'm doing shows. I'm minding my business, okay? Right now, the only thing that I'm saying is once I did everything a person asked me to do and they still continue to try to, like, basically puppet me or use whatever as leverage because they don't, I don't want to take it to the internet. It's nothing I could do at this point. So the pe the other people that they have involved with it, like they really don't have anything to do with it. Like me and this person, we have what we had because of what I'm telling you. We we did, we did agreed to take the shit off the song. You know what I'm saying? To take it off. So my thing is right now the the things that are being done. I feel like because I took the person off the song and they weren't gonna get to get the exposure that they wanted to get from it i don't know whether it was just hurt or whatever it was off of me just removing myself from, from their life they decided that they were going to just try to keep me involved in some type of way so their way to keep me engaged with them is for them to slander me because they know as the person that i am i really take a lot of pride in my name like all this time i've been doing my music i've never had people slander my name i've never had i just try to keep a, a good image in the music industry so they knew that it really bothers me like my name is is a big thing like anybody else's name you're gonna defend your name because that's all you got and the truth at the end of the day so Right now, what's happening, once I remove myself, the person was doing, like, little things, started jumping out in my shows. Um, that was the first thing. Came to one of my shows, just stood there, and was really trying to distract me while I'm rapping, singing the song, right? The big old facts. And I wasn't playing into it. I ignored the person the whole time and just went on about my business. Left out, whatever. Next thing happened to South by Southwest. And this is a lot of what y'all saw. So, I'm at South by Southwest with this hat on, you know, minding my business, waiting to do my show. Somebody tips this person off that I'm at this show, at this venue, they come into the show. They come running into the show. And it's just like to me, hey, let's step outside. And my whole thing is I tell her out of my mouth. I say, hey, I'm here to do a show. This is South by Southwest. You got all these record label people around. I have a show. I'm like, you are artists. Why aren't you performing right now? Why aren't you doing South by South? Why are you here? Like, so she's like, step outside. So as I'm ignoring her, I'm texting on my phone and I did start to call my mother because now I'm just like trying to talk to her and just let her like have somebody on the phone to be like, hey, this is what's going on. Right. So then the girl proceeds to start filming me. 
And I don't know what she was saying at the time. I just know she had the, the camera up and I was in the background and she was saying something. So then I told her, I said, look, after I'm done performing, because I'm not going to get hoarse for, for, for you and miss this opportunity for myself. Once I am done performing, then I will gladly step outside with you. I didn't remove my shoes, right? And then I, she put her little phone down. We started going toward the door, right? And as we're going down the stairs, I, I simply asked her, I said, why are you doing all this? After everything I did for you, after everything I tried to help you with, why are you doing this to me? Like, what is the problem? And she was just like, oh, bitch, you ain't never did nothing for me. After everything I know I did for her, you know, from giving clothes to to feeding to picking up from work, like taking you and your mama to go pawn stuff. Like, why would you do this to somebody that didn't? I didn't even have to reach out to this person. I never had to meet them. I just seen that they was a struggling artist. They reminded me of myself and I seen they were talented. To this day, I don't take nothing away from this person. I'm like, I still see them as a talented person with potential, but there is a right way and a wrong way to do things. You know what I'm saying? Me being the good hearted person that I am, I'm just like, hey, don't try to get clout or whatever you're trying to get off my expense. Don't try to uh, do defamation of character, slander me, you know, just try to make me look like this person. So in return, I try my best to ignore everything that they were doing. People telling me, don't ever say these people's name because that's going to get them more exposure, more clout. Don't say their name. Don't mention them. Just keep doing what you're doing. So I tried to ignore it for several months. Okay, so then finally, I'm like, hey, I see another female artist. We, she reaches out to me during the night. The very next day, I decide I'm going to go meet her because she's really happy because I'm somebody she listens to coming up. Go do, get ready to go do a song with her. And because she's so excited about it, she then like post something, I guess, hinting around that it was me that she was doing a song with. So it made, I guess, the other person angry because now they see I'm still moving on and now I'm finna help this other person like I tried to do with them. So I'm at the same time, I'm questioning myself like, Okay, why would you do this when you see what, what happened the first time that you tried to help somebody? But just me being a good-hearted person, when I see talent, I'm going to try to help anybody that I, so they don't have to go through what I went through. So basically, um, when the girl made the post, she posted something like that insinuated she was doing a song with me. The girl started messaging, right? She messaged me the next day, and she was just like, hey... What are you telling people that, uh, like, me and my people jumped you for? And, like, if my people go to jail, my mama go to jail for jumping, saying we, you saying that we jumped you, then I'm going to lay your mama down. And I put that on your dead daddy that I'm going to lay your mama down. Your family going to start falling like dominoes if my mama go to jail. But I'm like, I don't have anything to do with whatever criminal, whatever your parent got going on. I just know that. I'm not going to allow you to threaten my last living parent. So I did in turn make a police report like any other person would do when somebody is doing this. They're going to make a police report because as my right as a citizen, I can make a police report. And also I'm going to make sure I have it documented in case anything starts happening for the get go. At the show, you done jumped out at two shows of mine and on me being aggressive. And I did not call the police on you, which I had every right to at that moment. You know, I did not call the police to make a report against this person until they threatened to kill my mother, which I have the messages, everything. I have everything that they sent to me that's going to be coming out in an upcoming uh, project that I have coming up with an actual like network. So just to kind of show how all this cyberbullying, um, trolling artists, it's a lot of artists going through the same thing right now. So I just kind of saved it for that. But to this day, I'm going to say it like this. Being called a rat because I made a police report against somebody because they threatened to kill my mother, that's not considered a rat to me. That's considered somebody that's trying to protect their family and also somebody that's trying to make sure that the authorities know what's going on. So down the line, if something were to happen, I tried to make this report and I tried to get the necessary help that I needed in order for to stop this. And Because over a rap song, right? So that's how that happened. I'm not a rat. I'm not somebody. Rats are people that go out here and snitch on people that's, you know, doing street things you know i'm not that person if it makes me a rat because i went out there and i made a police report against somebody threatening my mother i have had people that's on the side of those people people that are on their side that had literally the very next day after she said she's gonna kill my mama showed up to my mama's house pulled up on the side of my mama yard told me they did it because that's a public street but at the same time that is at my mother's house 
pull up, get out with a backpack, pop the trunk, and then ride off. Like, you know, kind of almost being trying to be intimidating, right? My mom had cameras all around her house, so it's on camera. I did not call the police on this male that did this, right? Because I'm still like, I'm not this person. These are all people that I cared about at some point, that I did music with, that I, to this day, I still be like, I don't take nothing away from what they're trying to do. Just don't do it at my expense. I work hard for where I am right now. And I'm still not as far as I need to be. Nobody is famous and rich in this situation. That's the way I look at it. So the next week, the person chased me down the street, the male did. And it was because a... Uh, but no, a promoter like a guy that has a show, um, IGR took the guy off a show that they was gonna have that day. I didn't even know anything about it. I woke up in the morning and the guy told me, Hey, we're taking him off our show, we're taking him off our radio show, the platform, the performance, because we see what they're doing to you, and we don't condone that here at our station. Okay, so I told him, Make sure you let that person know that it has nothing to do with me that you took them off this show. So that it's not adding fuel to the fire. They then asked me in return, well, we done took him off. Do you want to perform in a place? I told them absolutely not. Because what it makes it look like, it looks messy. It looked like you took that person off that show and then you're trying to put me on there in their place. And that's just keeping a lot of mess going. So I refused to do it. Uh, maybe a couple of hours after that is when I left my house and the same person started chasing me down Springdale. Again, didn't call the laws on them. The week before, you done came to my mom's house with a backpack. The very next week on a Saturday, you chasing me down Springdale. I still did not call the police on this person, okay? All I did was turn off, go back, go to my mother's house, tell her what happened, and she still was like, why have you not reported this person? She's like, I'm not just going to walk around and be calling police on people. Like, it is what it is. So, I'm saying it to say this. Like, I'm just trying to do my music, mind my business. I beat myself up every day that I really reached out and befriended these people because I never knew that they would turn on me like this. Like, I don't, like, people address me every day and want me to do music with them, and I'm second-guessing, second-guessing. Like, what is their motive? Who sent you? You know, what is your hidden agenda? What kind of opportunist are you? Like, are you a narc? I'm questioning everything and everybody that comes to me because uh, I know out of my heart, I really cut it for these people. These are people that I cared about, and they turn around and do this to me, and for what? Because I remove myself because how you're acting, right? So... I'm not going to get on no ghetto time with nobody. I'm going to keep doing my music, minding my business. If it upsets somebody that I'm not out here fighting and acting a, and acting a damn fool with them, I'm going to keep being classy about what I'm doing. I'm going to keep minding my business and I'm going to keep putting out good music. If a person's only way to get attention for their music is to try to slander somebody else, to try to down somebody else, to try to bring somebody else down, then they should sit back themselves and be like, hey, clearly ain't nobody trying to listen to my music. Clearly, if I have to get attention from somebody else, I need to maybe go back to the drawing board and see what it is about what I'm doing to get attention on my music. Because me, my whole career, I have not once ever had to slander somebody, down somebody. I just wrote good lyrics and good songs. I never have to do this to anyone. So, again, like my friends and my record label people, executives, people that have told me, like, don't talk about it. Stop putting light on what's going on just let people do what they're doing i'm a human being like right now what i'm giving you i'm giving you belinda i'm not giving you misdemeanor you know so what you hear lyrics and all that you know what i'm saying i'm giving you myself i'm a human being you know and i know out of the grace like the goodness of my heart i just tried to help these people i tried to be there for them i tried to be the friend to them and what they're doing to me right now is not fair like i have my own life i have personal things that are going on and so this extra that's going on, it's not funny. The negativity, the everybody want to keep it going and, oh, y'all pull up and fight, get out and do this. Why? Life is short right now. Everybody down left and right. You see that all day. Everybody probably on this timeline has somebody that's recently died or that's, that's dying right now or something bad that's happened. Nobody has time for this. So I say this to say that if... Anybody out there want to consider me a rat because I made a police report to protect my mother, my last living parent? If anybody want to um, listen to any negativity about me, you didn't mean me good, any good anyways. 
regardless whether I made a police report, whether I got out there and fought, whether I try to remain classy and do it the right way, if a person not going to like you, they're not going to like you. It doesn't matter what I do at this point. It doesn't matter anything that I say. If a person want to get clout, if people out here just want to jump on a bandwagon and feed into the negativity just to keep things going, if a person don't like me, like I said at this point, it don't have anything to do with anything personal that I'm doing. I'm not attacking anybody. I'm not after anybody. When I made certain songs that I made recently, that's talking to Texas. That's talking to anybody. That's just a general song that I made for people that may be going through hate. I don't care who they are. They could be artists. They could be uh, beauticians. They could be um, mechanics. It's just a song for anybody that's experienced somebody hating on them right now. You know, trying to get clout, trying to ride their coattail. They're mad because you can't anymore. That doesn't give you a right to try to ruin somebody's life. Somebody that you know. The only thing I can say about all of this, these people know. They know deep within their selves, deep within their souls. God see it and God knows the truth that I did nothing wrong to deserve any of it that's going on. And so with that being said, again, I apologize to the people that want me to speak out on anything that was going on. I'm going to keep doing my music. Um, I really wish the best and blessings upon the people. Them same people don't wish you nothing but good. But it is what it is. At this point, all I can do is mind my business, keep mashing, and don't try to do anything negative. I'm just being a positive person. Like at the end of the day, like I said, today Father's Day. I lost my father. I'm still grieving. I know my main thing right now is to live and be a good person continue to do right so that way i know one day for sure i'm gonna see my father again so there's nothing that i'm doing to just gonna jeopardize me from seeing my daddy again so with that being said um y'all have a blessed father's day and that's it of that i don't have nothing else to say on it and y'all be blessed everybody that's supported me this whole time keep supporting me I got new music coming out. I mean, big old facts. I got better songs coming out. Um, all this just fueled my fire, and I'm going hard with that pen. So y'all be blessed. Um, happy Juneteenth, and goodbye. <laughs>